The K2 Black Panther is a Korean main battle tank that will replace the M48A5 K tanks and complement the K1 series of main battle tanks, currently fielded by the Republic of Korea. Full-scale mass production is currently underway. Although the K1 and the K1A1 were considered more than adequate to counter opposing North Korean tanks, most of which are mostly aging Soviet-era equipment such as the T-34. Development was started in 1995 to create and field a new main battle tank with heavy emphasis on using domestic technologies. The Agency for Defense Development, or ADD, was given the task of developing a modern armored fighting vehicle with state-of-the-art technology. The design was finally deemed production ready in 2006, following 11 years in development and a research budget expenditure of approximately $230 million. Before going to advanced features, let us take a quick look at the basics. I'm your host Isev and welcome to Defense and Geopolitics. I put the Chinese Type 99 tank in red to see how it holds up. This tank has a weight of 55 tons, a length of 7.5 meters, a width of 3.6 meters and a height of 2.4 meters, and a crew of 3. The primary armament of this tank is 120mm smoothbore gun of 40 rounds. The secondary armament is a 12.7mm K6 heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm coxial machine gun. This tank uses a 12-cylinder water-cooled diesel engine with a power output of 1,500 horsepower, an operational range of 450 km and a speed of 70 km per hour. And the price for one of these tanks is $8.5 million. Now for maneuverability. The Black Panther features a 1,500 horsepower, 12-cylinder diesel engine developed and manufactured by Dosan and Fracor Corporation. The transmission was developed and manufactured by S&T Heavy Industries. The K2 can travel at speeds of up to 70 km per hour on road surfaces and maintain a speed of up to 52 km per hour in off-road conditions. It can accelerate from 0 to 32 km per hour within 7 seconds, which is pretty impressive. It can also climb 60 degree slopes and vertical obstacles 1.3 meters in height. Due to a relatively compact design of the engine, the designers were able to fit an additional gas turbine engine developed by Samsung Techwin. The vehicle can cross rivers as deep as 4.1 meters using a snorkel system, which also serves as a coming tower for the tank commander. The system takes approximately 30 minutes to prepare. The turret becomes watertight while fording, but the chassis can take in 440 liters of water to prevent excessive buoyancy from air inside the vehicle and keep the tracks planted firmly on the ground. This is a considerable improvement over the K1 and the K1A1, as these vehicles were only able to cross rivers up to 2.2 meters deep. Furthermore, the tank can enter combat-ready status as soon as it resurfaces. The Black Panther fields an advanced suspension system, called the In-Arm Suspension Unit, which give it better maneuverability over rough terrain. And now for offensive capabilities. The K2's main armament is an indigenous L55 120mm smoothbore gun, developed under license by ADD and manufactured by World Industries Ace Corporation. This tank also deploys a 12.7mm K6 heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm coxial machine gun. The autoloader enables the tank to fire up to 15 rounds per minute, or one round every 4 seconds, without being affected by the gun's angle. The K2's primary anti-tank munition is an indigenously developed and improved tungsten APFSDS kinetic energy penetrator. This new munition offers a significantly greater penetration than the current generation of tungsten rounds through better heat treatment of the tungsten alloyant, a technique referred to as the self-sharpening process. Another munition type used by this tank is the Korean Smart Top Attack Munition. It is a top attack anti-tank munition designed specifically for use with the Black Panther. This projectile is fired in a high trajectory profile comparable to that of the mortar or a long-range artillery. It should be emphasized that this is not an anti-tank missile. It does not contain any rocket propellant or motors. It travels through the air solely with the kinetic energy applied to it during the initial propulsion from the main cannon. This round does, however, house internal guidance and obstacle avoidance systems in the form of a small millimeter band radar, IR and radio meter sensors. Should the need to arise, it has also a limited ability to be manually controlled via live data link with the launch vehicle. Upon reaching its designated area, a parachute deploys, giving the onboard radar system and sensors enough time to seek and acquire stationary or moving targets. 
and fire its explosively formed penetrator from a top-down position, offering excellent anti-tank capabilities due to less protection present at a top armor of turrets and hulls of the tanks. And now for fire control system and optics. The K2 will be equipped with the millimeter band radar system, located at the frontal arc of the turret, along with the traditional laser rangefinder and crosswind sensor. This will be complemented by an advanced fire control system that will allow it to track and engage low-flying aircraft with the main gun quickly and accurately, as well as detect incoming projectiles fired at the tank. The fire control system is capable of a lock-on mode to maintain acquisition of a specific target, with the system calculating, adjusting and updating the target's information constantly, and also allowing the tank to fire while moving without significant loss of accuracy. The lock-on mode can acquire and track its target using thermal optics integrated into the fire control system up to 9.8 kilometers away. The Korean gunner's primary sight and the Korean commander's panoramic sight are present in the Black Panther as the original series of the K1A1 tanks. The optic system on the Black Panther, however, will be further modified to utilize the advantages of the sensors and armament offered in the new vehicle. And now for defensive capability. Details on the composite armor of the Black Panther are unknown. The frontal armor has been proven to be effective at defeating the 120mm AP FSDS round firing from the L55 gun. Explosive reactive armor blocks are also present. The vehicle's millimeter band radar system can double as a missile approach warning system. The vehicle's computer, in turn, can triangulate incoming projectiles, immediately warn the vehicle crew and fire off visual and infrared screening smoke grenades, which can effectively block optical, infrared and radar signatures. Once the hardkill AMS is installed, the radar system will also be responsible for tracking and targeting the incoming missiles for the AMS. The K2 also has a radar warning receiver and a radar jammer. Is the K2 Black Panther worth being the most expensive tank on the planet? With analyzing all the data, we can without doubt say it is. The tank is really good and reliable. Thank you so much for watching the video. I've been your host Isev. Like and subscribe if you like this type of content. And I'll see you in the next video.